if you get coronavirus, are you likely going to die from it? And if not, why aren't we hearing from people who have lived through coronavirus infection? Those two questions are questions you guys have sent me multiple times in the last week, and I realized I needed to break it down and explain it. Uh, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. I'm a family physician doing videos on coronavirus every single day to answer your questions. First of all, guys, let me put your mind at ease. If you get coronavirus, you are not likely to die from complications of coronavirus, okay? In fact, 80% of people who get coronavirus only have mild to moderate symptoms at best. Most people by far not only live, but they live and they do very well. It's only a very small, small percentage of people that go on to have complications and actually die from the condition. So please understand that getting coronavirus does not mean you're necessarily going to die. Now, the people who are at highest risk from having these complications and doing worse, I keep saying over and over again, but I want to remind us, are those who are over 60 and in particular over the age of 80 and those who have underlying medical conditions, no matter what age they are. If you have a weakened immune system, if you're on uh, certain treatments, uh, immune suppressants, things like that, okay? But most people do just fine. So you say, well, then why haven't we heard from the survivors? The news keeps talking about how bad this is, how bad this is, but where's the good news? Why aren't you telling me, why aren't you giving me stories about people who survive? And that's what you guys are saying to me. Why aren't you hearing about survivors? I think some of the reason is that we haven't diagnosed all the people in this country with it. You know that we have a shortage of uh, diagnostic kits and tests. So we don't know everyone who has it. And it is possible to have such mild symptoms you may not even know you have coronavirus. But let me give you a couple of facts. First of all, okay, generally the symptoms of coronavirus start a couple days, two to five days or so after you get exposed. However, they can come up to 14 days after exposure. The most common symptoms are fever, shortness of breath, and cough, but you can also get symptoms that remind you of a cold or the flu, things like nasal congestion or um, stuffy nose, you may get body aches, things like that, okay? But most people, 80% of people have mild to moderate disease and they will recover from their symptoms after one to two weeks, which is wonderful. Now, those who have more severe symptoms, they may take up to six weeks or maybe even a little longer to recover, but the vast majority of people are likely to recover after a couple of weeks. You also asked me, so how would someone treat it? If I got it, what does my family need to do for me? What do I need to do for my kids? Well, it's supportive treatment, guys. That's acetaminophen, which is Tylenol, ibuprofen, which is Motrin or products like that to help with fever and muscle aches. It's cough suppressants. It's, it's nasal sprays to help with nasal congestion. It's what we call supportive care. Fluids, rest, take it easy, okay? So if there's one thing I need to tell you guys is I know you're not hearing from the survivors, but just know there are far more survivors than there are people who do not. And remember, just because you get coronavirus does not mean you're going to die from it. Far from it. Most people do well. And most people will recover within a couple of weeks. Guys, stay safe. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. We'll talk to you soon.